consider, if you will, the position of the United States government at this time. They proudly thought of themselves as the most powerful nation on Earth, having recently produced the atomic bomb and won World War II with it. They had built a jet aircraft that exceeded the speed of sound in flight or wood in October of 47. They had built bombers with intercontinental range that would carry weapons of enormous destruction. Now, imagine what it was like for these same leaders, all of whom had witnessed the panic of the Orson Welles broadcast in the War of the Worlds in 1938. Thousands of Americans panicked at a realistically presented invasion of Earth. But imagine their horror as they actually viewed the dead bodies of the real aliens. Imagine their shock as they tried to determine how these saucers were powered and could discover no part even remotely similar to components they were familiar with. No cylinders, no pistons, no propellers, no vacuum tubes. It's only when you fully understand the overwhelming helplessness the government was faced with in the summer of 1947 can you comprehend their perceived need for a total, thorough, and sweeping cover-up to include the use of deadly